Yo. You hear me? How many people out there hear their alarm yeah. clock go off in the morning? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Need then you some, hit the snooze some, button. Some. It's time to get up. Hominid timeline. You need three things to be human. You need to make stone tools. You need to have big brains. And you gotta be bipedal. Seven million years ago, our journey begins in Central Africa. Our first subject, Salentropus chedensis. This is the earliest hominid fossil we have. It is preserved in the sand of the Sahara and modern day Chad. All we have of this early hominid is this skull. This allows us to know its cranial capacity, which was 350 cubic centimeters. Next we have Oregon Tugnus. He lived in the hills of Kenya about six million years ago. Living at a time of environmental change, he took advantage of the new savannas. The woodlands were being replaced by more open grasslands, where there was less predators. These guys were bipedal. We can tell they are bipedal because their femurs are inward pointing. song I wrote, you might want to sing it note for note, don't worry, be happy, in every life we have some trouble, but when you worry you make it double, don't worry, be happy, don't worry, be happy. Special don't news worry. report. Four million years ago, East African plains are infested with a happy beast. This is Australopithecus Afarnus, with inward facing femurs and now conversion big toes. We can see these guys are becoming more human. Both cranial capacities of only 420 cubic centimeters. We can't consider these guys human yet. Oh my, almost forgot. Here's Lucy, almost complete Afarnus fossil. 40% of her bones. We can get a real clue at what a young girl this far down the timeline would have looked like. Be happy. The landlord say you're Next up to about half a million years later is Australopithecus africanus. Fossils of this guy are found in the Teutonic South African Plateau. I believe these guys are straight up descendants of the Afarnas up north because they have similar sized skulls and similar convergent big toes. Australopithecus athapicus is a member of the robust group of Australopithecus paranthropus. With large jaws, these guys can munch on nuts and grasses all day. Their skulls are pretty nifty. Look at the sagittal crest. It was used to support muscles for chewing. And they lived two and a half million years ago at the same time as Homo habilis, which suggests to me that these guys are a branch of harness that just went down like an experiment gone wrong. Probably coming from the dumb offspring of Athapicus was Australopithecus boise, who lived 1.5 million years ago. This guy gets the title of Nutcracker Man among scientists. There are two theories for why. These guys still had a relatively average cranial capacity of 530 cubic centimeters, but definitely not human. So, let's return to the tree. 
Arg, already halfway done. Well, ain't this fun? Don't worry. Don't well, worry. Don't do it. Having Be happy. this much time, let's have let's an smile intermission. Don't bring yeah. everybody down. Yeah. 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 Don't worry. Yeah. At the dawn of man, two million years ago, the handyman. Homo habilis was using tools. This is the first hominid to master tool making and use them. These tools are made of stone and could be used to track open, cut, slice, and smash anything that he desires. They are called older ones stone tools. These guys had to be pretty smart to hit rocks together. So We'll have to check the brain. Oh, yep, they have a large enough cranial capacity. To smash rocks together. 630 cubic centimeters. These guys hit rocks all over Africa. And as you can see, they're smart. Homo erectus emerged 1.5 million years ago. And they had improved tools like the Achillean hand axe, which was the Swiss army knife of the epoch but they'll need a tool more powerful yet than their new hand axe a tool so powerful with so many uses that not only humans but all animals cower before them and a tool they must master before rising any higher up the food chain Homo heidelbergensis is a species of the hominid tree that lived from 600,000 years ago to 400,000 years ago. They might have had language and we have evidence that they hunted. Ich bin ein Neanderthal man. Ich komme aus Neanderthal. Ich habe ein großes Kopf. Ich lebe in Ice Age. Es ist sehr kalt. Das ist alles. Tschüss. Word Neanderthal comes from Neander. A place in Germany and Thal, German for a valley. Homo sapien sapiens. I'm a homo sapien sapien. You're a homo sapien sapien. Doesn't get any better than that. <laughs>